allow a couple of hours after a meal before rigorous exercise. This gives your stomach time to empty itself. Don't combine more than one type of antacid or other medications without your doctor's guidance. One of the most commonly prescribed drugs for heartburn and acid reflux are proton pump inhibitors, which are very effective at blocking acid production in your stomach. Acid reflux means that some acid leaks up, refluxes, into the gullet, esophagus. Esophagitis means inflammation of the lining of the esophagus. Most cases of esophagitis are due to reflux of stomach acid which irritates the inside lining of the esophagus. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GORD, and acid reflux, is a chronic condition of mucosal damage caused by stomach acid coming up from the stomach into the esophagus. This reduces the risk of acid creeping up your esophagus. You'll also want to avoid bending over or straining to lift heavy objects. Almond lovers will be happy to hear that this tasty nut is also effective in treating heartburn. If these steps don't help or if you have frequent or severe symptoms, your doctor may order tests to confirm a diagnosis and check for other problems. Feeling stressed when you eat in a rush can cause the stomach to produce more stomach acids. Relax after your meal as well but don't lay down. Some pros recommend trying relaxation techniques like deep breathing or meditation. Never ignore persistent heartburn. Left untreated, chronic acid reflux can scar and narrow your esophagus, cautions Gary Gitnick, MD, Chief of Digestive Diseases slash Gastroenterology at UCLA. At its worst, untreated chronic heartburn a symptom of gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, can develop into esophageal cancer. According to Public Health England, people should go to their doctor if they have persistent heartburn or difficulty swallowing food for three weeks or more. The burning, pressure, or pain of heartburn can last as long as two hours and is often worse after eating. Lying down or bending over can also result in heartburn. Many people obtain relief by standing upright or by taking an antacid that clears acid out of the esophagus. Lemon juice has a pH of around 2, making it an acid stronger than vinegar. It also contains an added boost in lots of nutrients, especially vitamin C. So, not only can it help with heartburn, but it contains more nutrients than ACV and therefore makes a great choice when in pain. As mentioned earlier, heartburn is typically a sign of having too little stomach acid. To encourage your body to make sufficient amounts of hydrochloric acid, stomach acid, you'll also want to make sure you're consuming enough of the raw material on a regular basis. Baking soda is the home remedy for almost everything. And yes it can offer fast relief from heartburn as well. Baking soda is a base not an acid, meaning that drinking some of it will neutralize acid in your stomach or esophagus. In normal digestion, the lower esophageal sphincter opens to allow food to pass into the stomach and closes to prevent food and acidic stomach juices from flowing back into the esophagus. Gastroesophageal reflux occurs when the less is weak or relaxes inappropriately, allowing the stomach's contents to flow up into the esophagus. Switching from processed foods to whole foods is therefore step number one. To further optimize your gut health, you'll want to make sure you're consuming enough good bacteria from traditionally fermented foods, such as fermented vegetables, or in a probiotic supplement. This will help balance your bowel flora, which can help eliminate helicobacter bacteria naturally. If you have heartburn, acid reflux, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, peptic ulcer disease, or any acid-related condition, the strategies listed above may also offer relief. High-quality sea salt, unprocessed salt, such as Himalayan salt, will not only provide you with the chloride your body needs to make hydrochloric acid, it also contains over 80 trace minerals your body needs to perform optimally, biochemically. Sauerkraut or cabbage juice is also a strong if not the strongest stimulant for your body to produce stomach acid. Having a few teaspoons of cabbage juice before eating, or better yet, fermented cabbage juice from sauerkraut, 
will do wonders to improve your digestion. Symptoms such as heartburn are the key to the diagnosis of acid reflux disease, especially if lifestyle changes, antacids, or acid-blocking medications help reduce these symptoms. Tight clothes, especially near your waist, can put pressure on your stomach, leading to heartburn symptoms. One of the most commonly prescribed drugs for heartburn and acid reflux are proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, which are very effective at blocking acid production in your stomach. Most people think it has to do with too much acid, but turns out that's a lie we've all been sold for a long time, and it's the same lie that keeps us stuck on drugs to keep the symptoms at bay. It's extremely rare to have high acid levels. And yet TV ads, friends, and even doctors tell us, you have too much acid, so you need to stop all that acid production. They are making assumptions about the pain, rather than taking the time to think about the physiology of the body. Even if you had too much acid, it wouldn't mean that you'd have reflux. Elevating the head of the bed on 6-inch blocks or sleeping on a specially designed wedge reduces heartburn by allowing gravity to minimize reflux of stomach contents into the esophagus. Do not use pillows to prop yourself up, that only increases pressure on the stomach. If medications don't completely resolve your symptoms of acid reflux disease and the symptoms are severely interfering with your life, your doctor could recommend surgery. There are two types of surgical treatment used to relieve symptoms of GERD if daily use of medication isn't effective. Doctors recommend lifestyle and dietary changes for most people needing treatment for GERD. Treatment aims at decreasing the amount of reflux or reducing damage to the lining of the esophagus from refluxed materials. Drinking a glass of chilled milk can be a simple solution for early or mild heartburn symptoms. Milk relaxes the valve between the stomach and esophagus. If you don't have milk, you can try other types of dairy products. This home remedy is best for people who experience heartburn on rare occasions. Acid reflux and heartburn are an extremely common problem, 60% of adults in the US will suffer this year alone. I used to be part of that statistic, I used to have that nasty taste in my mouth and constant burning in my throat. Another surgical procedure called fundoplication can help prevent further acid reflux. It creates an artificial valve using the top of your stomach. The procedure involves wrapping the upper part of the stomach around the less to strengthen it, prevent acid reflux. Heartburn often just gets worse as you gain weight, but losing as little as 2.5 pounds can help reduce heartburn symptoms. Cabbage juice has natural anti-inflammatory properties that help alleviate various kinds of digestive problems including heartburn. One common cause of acid reflux disease is a stomach abnormality called a hiatal hernia. This occurs when the upper part of the stomach and lay move above the diaphragm, a muscle that separates your stomach from your chest. It's time to see your doctor if you have acid reflux symptoms two or more times a week or if medications don't bring lasting relief. Heartburn is an unpleasant condition that occurs when acid from the stomach leaks into the esophagus and rises upwards to cause pain and discomfort in the chest. Indigestion is a general term for pain or discomfort felt in the stomach and under the ribs. Vinegar is an acid with a pH of around 5. Therefore it helps with heartburn by lowering the pH, making it more acidic, of the stomach contents to 